Hello students, welcome all of you in my class. Today I am going to start with one organic chemistry chapter. In your syllabus, in organic chemistry, your first chapter is haloalkanes and haloarenes. The organic chemistry chapter, first chapter is haloalkanes and haloarenes. So I am going to start with your chapter number 10 in your syllabus. That is haloalkanes and haloarenes. So this is the first chapter of organic chemistry. So in this chapter of haloalkanes and haloarenes, at first we need to know what are haloalkanes. So haloalkanes, the word halo represents halogens. And what are alkanes? So alkanes are the saturated hydrocarbons in which all the carbon atoms are joined by single bonds only. Say so one simple alkane. So methane is the simplest alkane, CH4. Here carbon atom is attached to it four hydrogen atom, CH4. Say so ethane, ethane is C2H6. So C2H6, one carbon, second carbon. So carbon atoms are joined by single bonds only. And the valency of carbon is 4. So each carbon contains 3, 3 hydrogen. So this is ethane. So these are saturated hydrocarbon. And called alkane. So methane, ethane, propane, butane, isobutane. So these are alkanes. So what are haloalkanes? So at first you need to know what is haloalkane. Hello, alkane. So, hello, alkanes are also called alkyl halides. So, their common name is alkyl halide, and IUPAC name is hello alkane. So, what are hello alkanes? So, when one or more hydrogen atom, one or more hydrogen atom of an alkane is or are replaced by equal number of halogen atoms then haloalkanes or alkyl halides are formed see here ch4 this is methane so when one hydrogen atom is replaced by one halogen halogen is chlorine so this is chloromethane abhi methane se ho gaya chloromethane to chloro halogen halo methane alkane chloro methane that is haloalkane Two hydrogen atom replaced by two halogen atom, dichloromethane. Three hydrogen atom is replaced by three halogen atom, trichloromethane. All the four hydrogen atoms are replaced by four halogen atoms, tetrachloromethane. So these are haloalkanes. So when one or more hydrogen atom of an alkane, the so one one say is or more than one one say R replaced by equal number of halogen atoms jitna hydrogen replaced hoga same number of halogen include hoga to when one or more hydrogen atom of an alkane is or are replaced by equal number of halogen atoms then haloalkanes or alkyl halides are formed so its general equation or general example say r h so RH is one alkane. So this alkane adds one halogen. So if here X is the any halogen, so it may be fluorine, it may be chlorine, it may be bromine. So one halogen is attached with this alkane group. So one hydrogen will be replaced. So one hydrogen is replaced and one halogen is added. Then you will get Rx. Here Rx is the haloalkane. Haloalkane. So Rx is haloalkane. So haloalkanes are also called alkyl halides. So alkyl halide is the common name. So here 
R. R represents any alkyl group. So R is alkyl group, and it may be, for example, say methyl group CH3, methyl group, or ethyl group C2H5, ethyl group, say CH. C is three whole two. So C H C is three whole two. That means isopropyl group. Say C C is three whole three. This is tertiary butyl group, etc. So R is any alkyl group, methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, pentyl, hexyl, or isopropyl tertiary butyl group. Any alkyl group. And X X is Halogen. You say halogen is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, etc. Clear? So halogen is entered in the alkane. That's why halogen derivative of alkanes. Halogen. Derivative of alkanes are called halo alkanes. Alkane में halogen या क्या अंतर हुआ? तो halogen derivative of alkanes are called halo alkane. For example of halo alkane, for example, say C H three C L. तो C H three और H होने से C H four methane alkane. तो one hydrogen is replaced by one chlorine. So this is chloromethane halo alkane. Similarly, C H three CH2 Br bromoethane say CH3 CH2 CH2 I iodopropane etc all of these are halo alkanes so halo alkene ho gaya now classification of halo alkene how halo alkenes are classified Hello alkanes are classified into four types and these four types are monohalogen derivative, dihalogen derivative, trihalogen derivative and tetrahalogen derivatives. So there are four types of hello alkanes or alkyl halides. So at first number one monohalogen derivatives so what are monohalogen derivatives so these are compounds obtained by replacing one hydrogen atom of a hydrocarbon by one halogen atom. when one hydrogen atom of a hydrocarbon is replaced by one halogen atom then monohalogen derivatives are formed their general formula is their general formula is C N H twice N plus one X where X is the halogen. For example, monohalogen derivative for example so C is three. Cl. So Cl here C is one. H twice n plus one. N value one. So two into one two two plus one three. H three. And X is halogen. C is three Cl. Similarly, C is three. CH two. Br. How many carbons are there? Two carbon. C two. C two. So H कितना होगा? Two two जा four plus one five, three plus two five. C two H five, Br. Br is halogen. So C H three, 
CH I CH3 the two iodopropane to C carbon 3 C3 to H is now 3 to the 6 plus 1 H7 3 4 4 plus 3 7 1 hydrogen so these are monohalogen derivatives here only one hydrogen atom is replaced by one halogen atom second type dihalogen derivatives so what are dihalogen derivatives so these are compounds obtained by replacing two hydrogen atom obtained by replacing two hydrogen atom of a hydrocarbon by two halogen atoms for example and their general formula is cn h twice n x2 x is halogen or cn h twice n x y x and y both are halogen example say ch2 cl2 to methane carbon is a four hydrogen so two hydrogen is replaced by two halogen so it is dichloromethane so ch3 ch br2 so here two hydrogen is replaced by two bromine so this is dibromoethane or CH3 CH Br CH2 Br to so 1 comma 2 dibromopropane to so 2 hydrogen he has a hydrogen he has a hydrogen 2 hydrogen atoms are replaced by 2 halogen atoms so you have a chlorine bromine be hai, then XY third type trihalogen derivatives so, trihalogen derivatives so what are trihalogen derivatives so these are compounds obtained by replacing three hydrogen atom of a hydrocarbon by three halogen atoms and their general formula is cn H twice n minus one x three. The trihalogen derivatives. Example of trihalogen compound CH Cl three. The methane CH four. To H four say three hydrogen is replaced by three chlorine atom. To CH Cl three. Now see one carbon one hydrogen. 1 carbon H twice n 2 into 1 2 2 minus 1 1 hydrogen CH and X3 CL3 so this is trichloromethane trichloromethane trichloro this is the halogen chloro is the halogen the halogen how many halogens are there 3 halogens trichloromethane and its common name is common name is chloroform so chcl3 is chloroform similarly ch br3 this is tribromo methane and tribromo methane is commonly called bromoform so, bromoform is the common name of CHBr3. CHI3. This is tri iodo methane. Tri iodo methane. And it is commonly called iodoform. So, these are tri halogen derivatives. And number four tetrahalogen derivatives 
tetrahalogen derivatives what are tetrahalogen derivatives so these are compounds obtained when all the four hydrogen atoms of methane we have all the four hydrogen atoms of methane kyu bola because in the preparation of tetrahalogen derivatives only methane contains four hydrogen atom with the same carbon atom so when all the four carbon atoms of methane are replaced by four halogen atoms then tetrahalogen derivatives are formed ethane every carbon contains three three hydrogen atom propane first and third carbon contains three three hydrogen whereas second carbon contains only two hydrogen but only methane contains four hydrogen atom that's why tetrahalogen derivatives are formed when all the four hydrogen atom of methane are replaced by four halogen atoms for example c cl4 ch4 methane all four hydrogen atoms are replaced by four chlorine so c cl4 so tetrachloromethane or common name carbon tetrachloride so carbon tetrachloride is the common name iupac name tetrachloromethane another example c br4 so all the four hydrogen atom of methane are replaced by four bromine so it is carbon tetra bromide so carbon tetra chloride carbon tetra bromide carbon tetra iodide these are examples of tetra halogen derivatives so there are four types of halo alkenes beside these halo alkenes are further classified into three types depending upon the position of the halogen attached to the carbon atom so based on the halogen atoms attached with carbon atom halo alkenes are further classified as three types which are known as primary halo alkene secondary halo alkene and tertiary halo alkenes see further halo alkenes are classified as three types so further halo alkenes are classified as three types known as primary halo alkene secondary halo alkene and tertiary halo alkene depending upon the halogen atoms attached to the primary secondary and tertiary carbon atoms respectively so at first primary halo alkene so number 1 primary halo alkene what are primary halo alkenes so when halogen atom attached with that carbon atom of the halo alkene which directly attached with only one carbon atom then those kind of halo alkenes are called primary halo alkenes for example you see ch3 ch2 br bromo ethane so here halogen is bromine so here bromine attached with this carbon atom and this carbon directly attached with only one carbon atom so this carbon is primary carbon atom and this kind of halo alkenes are called primary halo alkene say another example ch3 ch2 ch2 Here you see this bromine attached with this carbon atom. 
this carbon directly at a switch only one carbon atom with this carbon atom this carbon is not directly at us so bromine attached with this carbon and this carbon directly attached with only one carbon atom that's why this carbon is primary carbon and this compound is primary halogen second type secondary halogen What are secondary halo alkene? When halogen atoms are attached with that carbon atom of the halo alkene, which directly attached to two carbon atoms in the halo alkene, are called secondary halo alkenes. The example of secondary halo alkenes: say so CH three, CHCl, CH three. So here halogen is chlorine. So chlorine attached with this carbon atom, and this carbon directly attached to it. In this side one carbon, in this side another carbon. So this carbon atom directly attached to it, two carbon atoms because this carbon atom is attached to it, halogen. So this carbon is secondary carbon, and this compound is secondary halogen. Similarly, another example, say CH three, CH. CH two, CH, CH two, Br. Here you see this bromine atom, this halogen atom attached with this carbon atom. Now this carbon directly attached with in this side one carbon, in this side only one carbon. So this carbon is directly attached with two carbon. So this carbon is secondary carbon, and this compound is secondary halogen. Number three, third type, tertiary halogen. Tertiary halogen. What are tertiary halogens? So when halogen atoms in a halogen attach to it, that carbon atom of the halogen which directly attach to it, three carbon atoms in the compound. Is called tertiary halogen. For example, CH three, C, CH three, CH three, Cl. Here, see this chlorine halogen attached to it, this carbon atom. And this carbon directly attached to it, one, two, three carbon atom. So this carbon is tertiary carbon. And this compound is tertiary halogen. Similarly, another example: CH three, CH, CH three, CH, CH three, CH. Bia, CH three, CH three. Same. See, in this compound, the bromine halogen, the bromine is attached with this carbon, and this carbon directly attached with one, two, three. With these carbons, this carbon is not attached. So this carbon is directly attached with only three carbon. So this carbon is tertiary carbon, and this compound is tertiary haloalkyl. So classification of haloalkyls. So we have at first. There are four types of haloyl case depending upon the replacement of hydrogen atom by halogen atom. So when one hydrogen atom is replaced by one halogen atom, then mono halogen derivatives are formed. When two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two halogen atoms, then di halogen derivatives are formed. When three hydrogen atoms are replaced by three halogen atoms, then tri halogen derivatives are formed. And when All the four hydrogen atoms of methane are replaced by four halogen atoms. Then tetrahalogen derivatives are formed. So haloalkenes are classified into four types: monohalogen, dihalogen, trihalogen, and tetrahalogen derivatives. Further, depending upon the position of the halogen atoms attached to a carbon atom, haloalkenes are classified as three types. And these are primary haloalkenes, secondary haloalkenes, and 
tertiary haloalkenes to ho gaya classification of haloalkenes our next topic is isomerism of haloalkenes to what is isomerism to two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different physical as well as chemical properties are called isomers and this phenomenon is called isomerism to hello alkenes can show three types of isomerism to hello alkenes only shows three types of isomerism one is chain or nuclear isomerism number two position isomerism and number three optical isomerism to since hello alkene alkene it does not contain any double bond or any functional group because only halogen atoms are there that's why they cannot show metamerism functional isomerism tautomerism etc to hello alkenes can show only three types of isomerism the number one chain isomerism to chain isomerism what are chain isomers two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different number of carbon atoms in the principal chain are called chain isomers and this phenomenon is called chain isomer to hello alkenes having four or more carbon atoms can show chain isomers only so minimum four carbon present rena ko four carbon type hello alkene ch3 ch2 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 br 1 2 3 four carbon so this is one first carbon is a bromine one bromo butane one bromo butane so it's molecular formula is c4 h9 br molecular formula c4 h9 br four carbon h hydrogen 9 and one br with the same molecular formula ch3 ch ch3 ch2 br Now see one two three four carbon C four H nine three three six seven eight nine H nine one P R and the name of this compound is one first carbon contains bromo one bromo second carbon contains methyl group two methyl three carbon prop saturated a to so one bromo two methyl propane this is one bromo butane so both this compounds have the same molecular formula but the number of carbon atoms in the principal chain are different so this chain contains four carbon atoms and this chain contains three carbon atoms so that's why they are chain isomers of each other to so hello alkenes containing minimum four to four or more carbon atoms can only show chain isomers second type position isomers position isomers what is position isomers to compounds having the same molecular formula but different positions of the halogen atoms because it is haloalkene we are studying the isomerism of haloalkene so different positions of halogen atoms are called position isomers the compounds having the same molecular formula but different positions of halogen atoms are called position isomers and this phenomenon is called position isomerism to so, hello alkenes having more than two carbon atoms can show position isomers more than two that means minimum three carbon chain 
तो मिनिमम थ्री और मोर कार्बोनेटोस होने से ही पोजिशन आइसोमेरिज्म शो होगा सी एग्जांपल सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सी एच टू थ्री कार्बन हो गया सेवियर तो वन टू थ्री तो वन ब्रोमो प्रोटीन वन ब्रोमो प्रोटीन इट्स मॉलिक्यूलर फॉर्मूला इज सी थ्री एच सेवन बी आर सो दिस इज द मॉलिक्यूलर फॉर्मूला सी थ्री एच सेवन बी आर नो पोजीशन ऑफ द हेलोजन एटम्स आर डिफरेंट हियर ब्रोमीन एटम्स टू इट फर्स्ट कार्बन एटम सी सी एच थ्री सी एच बी आर सी एच थ्री सी थ्री थ्री कार्बन एटम एच सेवन थ्री प्लस वन फोर फोर प्लस थ्री एच सेवन एंड वन बी आर फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड कार्बन तो कार्बन एटम इन द प्रिंसिपल चेंज आर सेम दैट्स वाई दे आर नॉट चेन आई समर्स चेन आई समर में पोजिशन ऑफ द हेलोजन वन ब्रोमो वन ब्रोमो पोजिशन सेम बट द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम इन द प्रिंसिपल चेन आर डिफरेंट हेयर नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स इन द प्रिंसिपल चेन आर सेम ओनली पोजिशन ऑफ द हेलोजन एटम्स हेयर हेलोजन एटम एटास टू इथ फर्स्ट कार्बन हेयर हेलोजन एटम एटास टू इथ सेकेंड कार्बन तो पोजिशन ऑफ द हेलोजन एटम्स आर डिफरेंट दैट्स वाई दे आर पोजिशन आई समर्स And this is two bromo, propane, two bromo propane. Position isomers of each other. So hello alkenes having three or more carbon atoms can show position isomers. And third type, number three, optical isomer. ऑप्टिकल आइसोमरिज्म तो हेलो एल्केन्स कंटेनिंग ए काइरेल कार्बोनेट हेलो एल्केन्स कंटेनिंग ए काइरेल कार्बोनेट कैन शो ऑप्टिकल आइसोमर्स सो सेकेंडरी ब्यूटाइल प्रोमाइड सेकेंडरी ब्यूटाइल प्रोमाइड तो फॉर्मूला ऑफ सेकेंडरी ब्यूटाइल प्रोमाइड सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सी एच बी आर सी एच थ्री तो मिथाइल इथाइल प्रोपाइल ब्यूटाइल ब्रोमाइड एंड दिस ब्रोमिन इज सेकेंड डाइल बिकॉज ब्रोमिन एटास्ट विथ दिस कार्बन एंड दिस कार्बन डायरेक्टली एटास्ट विथ टू कार्बन एटास्ट सो दिस इज सेकेंडरी ब्यूटाइल ब्रोमाइड तो हेल्थ सेकेंडरी ब्यूटाइल ब्रोमाइड कंटेनिंग ए काइरल कार्बन एटम can only show two optically active isomers secondary butyl bromide containing a chiral carbon atom can show two optical active isomers see the example how it can show optical active isomers so this carbon is the secondary carbon so secondary carbon this carbon is attached with halogen br this carbon is attached with bromine this carbon is also attached with one hydrogen this carbon is attached with one ch3 group this carbon is attached with in this total c2h5 group c2h5 so what is chiral carbon so if a carbon atom is attached with four different groups then that carbon is called a chiral carbon when a carbon atom is attached with four different groups then that carbon is called chiral carbon and chiral carbon is denoted by a star symbol now see this carbon is attached with one ch3 group one c2h5 group one br and one hydrogen So all these four groups are different. That's why this carbon is chiral carbon. So, 
Vanet compound contains chiral carbon. It can show optical active isomer. So this is mirror. The mirror image kya hoga? If bromine, ya pehle jayega Br. Then carbon, hydrogen. Here CH3 and here C2 H5 group. So these are optical active isomers. Both the compounds are different. Say bromine in right hand side. Here bromine in the left hand side. So these are optically active isomers. But if the position is in the same side, say BR here, when I say BR, if this side comes, then optically inactive will happen. So optical isomers show for the heloyl case must contain a chiral carbon atom. So heloyl case containing a chiral carbon atom can show two optically active isomers. Heloyl case can show only three types of isomerism chain isomerism or nuclear isomerism, position isomerism, and optical isomerism. Clear? So, our next topic is method of preparation of haloyl kings. The method of preparation of haloyl kings. So, haloyl kings can be prepared from many reagents, say from alkane. So from alkane, we can prepare haloyl king. From alkene. From alcohols, from silver salt of acids by iodide exchange reaction. So, there are various methods by which we can prepare haloalkyl. So, our first method, number one, from alkane. So, how can you prepare a hello alkene from an alkene. So when alkene is treated with halogens in presence of UV light, ultraviolet light, or at a temperature in between 520 to 600 Kelvin, then a mixture of monohalogen derivatives and polyhalogen derivatives are formed. So when an alkene is treated with or reacts with halogens in presence of UV light. Agar UV light nahi hai, then temperature is required and temperature is 520 Kelvin to 600 Kelvin. Then a mixture of monohalogen derivatives and polyhalogen derivatives. Polyhalogen means dihalogen, trihalogen, tetrahalogen derivatives are formed. See the example. For example, methane or alkane is treated with say halogen chlorine in presence of UV light. We can write UV light or H nu. So when methane is treated with chlorine in presence of UV light then CH3 Cl monohalogen derivative plus HCl here you see methane CH4 so CH3 and H so we have CH4 plus chlorine Cl2 so Cl single bond Cl chlorine so in presence of UV light H nu so this hydrogen and this chlorine So CH3 single bond Cl, CH3 Cl plus H single bond Cl, HCl. So these products are from CH3 Cl plus HCl. So this is chloromethane, monohalogen derivative is formed. Now this monohalogen derivative CH3 Cl again reacts with chlorine in presence of sunlight. So again one hydrogen and one chlorine HCl one hydrogen and one chlorine so here CH2 
Cl and another Cl, Cl2, dichloromethane. Now this dichloromethane, CH2, Cl2, reacts with another chlorine in presence of sunlight or UV light. So one hydrogen and one chlorine removes, then CH, Cl3 plus HCl, trichloromethane or chloroform. So this is trihalogen derivative. Now this trihalogen derivative CH Cl3 again reacts with chlorine in presence of sunlight. So one hydrogen, one chlorine, HCl removes. So one chlorine enters to C Cl4 plus HCl. First reaction is complete because a trihalogen derivative does not contain any hydrogen now. So chlorination of methane gives four products. So we can write here that is chlorination of methane. Methane reacts with chlorine in presence of sunlight. If sunlight is not present or temperature is required, 520 to 600 Kelvin temperature. Product kya hai? CH3Cl plus CH2Cl2 plus CHCl3 plus CCl4. These four products are formed. Monohalogen derivatives and polyhalogen derivatives are formed. The methane, it is one alkane. So alkane, when react with halogens in presence of UV light or a temperature in between 520 to 600 Kelvin, then a mixture of monohalogen and polyhalogen derivatives are formed. So these are haloalkane, methods of preparation of haloalkane. So this is chloromethane, haloalkane, dichloromethane, trichloromethane, tetrachloromethane. So haloalkanes are formed. So from alkane, we can prepare haloalkane. Number two, second method from alkene, from alkene or alkenes, alkenes. So from alkenes, we can also prepare hello alkene so by the reaction of halogen acid. So when alkenes are treated with halogen acids, then haloalkenes are formed. For example, for example, alkene, say so CH2 double bond, CH2, the simplest alkene, ethene. So alkene is treated with halogen acid. So halogen, so halogen is chlorine, bromine, iodine so these are halogens chlorine bromine iodine halogens halogen acid acid must contain h positive ion so cl negative is attached with h positive hcl br negative is attached with h positive hbr hi so hcl hydrochloric acid hydrobromic acid hydroiodic acid so hcl hbr hi these are halogen acids so alkenes when treated with halogen acids then hello alkanes are formed. So alkene, this is ethene, reacts with one halogen acid HBr. Product CH3, CH2, Br. CH3, CH2, Br. So ethene, alkene, gives bromoethane. This is one bromo, first carbon contains bromo ethane. The bromo ethane is hello alkane. So alkene gives hello alkane with the reaction with halogen acids. The mechanism of the reaction is the mechanism of this reaction, see CH2 double bond CH2 reacts with HBr. 
H single bond Br, HBr. Now hydrogen with its bond यहाँ पे आ गया। ये double bond break हो जाएगा क्योंकि carbon का valence है four, two two four। अभी ये bond यहाँ पे आ जाने से CH3 हो गया। तो यहाँ से एक bond इस carbon के ऊपर आ गया। With this bond, carbon attracts this bromine. So your product is CH2 and H, CH3. Double bond सब हो गया, single bond, CH2. With this bond, this carbon attracts Br. CH3, CH2, Br. So this is one example. No, another example. I am showing another example here. The second example. CH3, CH double bond, CH2 plus HBr. So this is propane. Another alkene. The propane reacts with HBr. What will be the product? Product is CH3. Now it is CHBr single bond CH3. This is two bromo propane bromo propane hello alkane. So hello alkane sir. So what is the mechanism of this reaction? Why not CH3, CH2, CH2 be The mechanism is see, CH3, CH double bond, CH2. HBr at a stroke. It was symmetrical alkene. Symmetrical means double bond ke both sides may have same number of carbon atoms present hai, then symmetrical alkene. Ho gaya. Here you see double bond ke both sides may in left side two carbon atoms. In right side, one carbon atom. So this is unsymmetrical alkene. So when halogen acid or HBr is reacts with an unsymmetrical alkene, then how do we write HBr? Now we have written here, ulta gar. Unsymmetrical alkene. So HBr. So this bond, bromine ka upar aagya. So how do we write bromine negative? Bromine negative is attached with this carbon atom. This bond break of this carbon atom is added. This carbon atom attracts this hydrogen. So product CH3, CH, CH is added with bromine. Single bond, double bond break of this single bond. CH2 and H will get CH3. So this is your product. And this reaction takes place according to Markovnikov's rule. So this is Markovnikov's addition reaction. So this is Markovnikov's addition reaction. So when HBr halogen acid is react with an unsymmetrical alkene, then the reaction takes place according to Markovnikov's rule. First year I study kya tha dungo When a halogen acid or HBr is react with an unsymmetrical alkene, then the reaction takes place according to Markovnikov's rule. And Markovnikov's rule states that the negative part of the addendum, the negative part is hydrogen is positive, Br is negative, so bromine is the negative part. So the negative part of the addendum is attached to that carbon atom of the double bond. So double bonded carbon is the double bonded carbon. So negative part, Br negative, Uusi carbon atom ke saath attached hoga double bonded carbon ke saath which contains less number of hydrogen atom. So yeh dono carbon ke saath this carbon contains one hydrogen, this carbon contains two hydrogen. So less number of hydrogen atom contains second carbon. So negative part will be attached with this carbon. So the negative part of the addendum is attached to that carbon atom of the double bond which contains less number of hydrogen atom. 
that is Marconikov's rule. And this reaction takes place according to Marconikov's rule. But for symmetrical alkene, and the bromine is kesa metas to the product semi of bromo ethene of the symmetrical alkene alkene kesa to a problem. Nahi hai. But when HBr is attached to unsymmetrical alkene, then Markovnikov's rule is applicable. Again, if halogenesis HBr is attached with an unsymmetrical alkene in presence of peroxide, then the reaction takes place against the Markovnikov's rule. When halogenesis or HBr is attached with an unsymmetrical alkene, then the reaction takes place in contrary to or against the Markovnikov's rule. And this is known as peroxide effect because in presence of peroxide reaction takes place. When HBr or halogenesis is attached with an unsymmetrical alkene in presence of peroxide, then the reaction takes place in contrary to Markovnikov's rule or against the Markovnikov's rule. This is called peroxide effect or Kharash effect. See, to see the same reaction, CH3, CH double bond, CH2. This is propene, an unsymmetrical alkene. Reacts with HBr halogenesis in presence of peroxide. Here we can write peroxide. Peroxide. Or you can write the name of peroxide C6 H5 C double O whole 2. Either only peroxide, peroxide is missing yoga, or could peroxide example there is a yoga. This is benzoyl peroxide. Then the product will be. CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. So propane gives bromo propane or one bromo propane. So this reaction takes place against the Markovnikov's rule. So this is anti Markovnikov's addition reaction. Anti Markovnikov's addition reaction. The so peroxide present on as a Markovnikov's rule applicable to me. So, what is the mechanism of this reaction? The mechanism in presence of peroxide reaction takes place in presence of peroxide CH3, CH double bond CH2. Now, HBr is directly. Hydrogen attached with this carbon. A bond break okay, here and this carbon attracts bromine in presence of peroxide. The product is CH3 single bond CH ke saath ek hydrogen CH2 double bond break ho gaya, ho gaya, single bond CH2 ke saath Br CH2 Br. So this reaction takes place against the Markovnikov's rule. So this is anti Markovnikov's addition reaction. Now it is bromo. Propane. This product. So this reaction occurs only due to presence of peroxide. That's why in this reaction is also called peroxide effect. Or Kharash effect. Peroxide effect or Kharash effect. So, this reaction already you studied in the class 11. So, from alkene, propene, these are unsymmetrical alkene. So, from alkene, we can also prepare halo alkene, bromopropene or 2 bromopropene, these are halo alkene. So, methods of preparation may first here from alkene, second from alkene. Number three from alcohol. From
alcohols. So alcohols can be converted to hello alkane by using variety of reagents. So there are various reagents by which alcohol can be converted to hello alkane. So from alcohol we can prepare chloroalkane, bromoalkane, iodoalkane. So at first we are preparing number K chloroalkane. Chloro alkanes. The so chloroalkanes can be prepared from alcohol by using a number of reagents. The so first reagent we are using uh, with phosphorus pentachloride. The phosphorus pentachloride formula PCl5 by using phosphorus pentachloride. The so one alcohol says CH3OH. So CH3OH that is methanol or methyl alcohol. Methanol. So when methanol is treated with PCl5, phosphorus pentachloride, then it gives CH3Cl plus POCl3 plus HCl. So this is our hello alkene, chloromethane. The mechanism of this reaction CH3OH OH CH3OH plus PCl5. The structure of PCl5 P Cl 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 Cl. So this is PCl5. Trigonal bipyramidal shape. So the earth, this hydrogen atom and this chlorine atom. H single bond Cl HCl. The valency of phosphorus is 5. The valency of oxygen is 2. So this oxygen atom the P this bond and this bond double bond O P double bond O P double bond O and Cl 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 so P O C L 3 so this is P O C L 3 first for us valency 5 maintained oxygen valency 2 maintained P O C L 3 P single bond single bond double bond O C L C L C L P O C L 3 and C H 3 single bond C L remains C H 3 single bond Cl. So this is the mechanism of this reaction. We will get CH3 single bond Cl plus P single bond single bond double bond O P O and Cl 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 Cl3 plus H single bond Cl H Cl. Okay. Similarly, C2H5OH, ethanol one is a C2H5Cl, POCl3 plus HCl. Number 2, with thionyl chloride. So, thionyl chloride, SOCl2. So, when alcohol. So CH3, CH2OH. This is ethanol or ethyl alcohol. So ethanol is treated with thionyl chloride, SOCl2. Then you will get CH3, CH2, Cl plus SO2 plus HCl. 
So CH3, CH2, CH, chloroethane. So this is your haloalkane. The mechanism of this reaction. Mechanism is CH3, CH2, O single bond H. CH3, CH2, OH plus SOCl2. S double bond O Cl Cl S O C L2. So here H single bond Cl H Cl oxygen so sulfur ke saath. E egg bone, E egg bone, double bone, O, double bone, O, SO2, CH3 single bone, CH2 single bone, CL. So you will get CH3, CH2, CH3, CH2 single bond, CL. Plus S double bone, O, single bone, single bone, double bone, O, SO2, plus H single bond, CL, HCL. Okay. So CH3, CH2, CL, chloroethane, hello alkane. So alcohol when reacts with PCl5 phosphorus pentachloride, then hello alkanes are formed. Alcohol when reacts with SOCl2, that is thionyl chloride, then also hello alkanes are formed. Number three with Halogen acids. So hello alkane. So, so alcohol when reacts with halogen acids, then also hello alkane, especially chloroalkane is formed. So example C two H five OH. C2H5OH, ethyl alcohol or ethanol reacts with HCl, H and halogen is Cl, HCl, hydrochloric acid, Zn, Cl2, heat, so in presence of zinc chloride and heat change, then the product is so HCl, so HCl is H single bond Cl, HCl. So H single bond and this OH so HCl say H single bond OH bahan nikla so H single bond OH is H2O so C2H5 single bond Cl rahe gaya your product is C2H5 Cl plus H2O so I can show here the mechanism. The mechanism is C2H5OH plus HCl. H single bond Cl. ZnCl2 heat. Okay, what? This part. H single bond OH. Bahani club. So your product is C2H5Cl plus H2 to so, C2H5 Cl, ethyl chloride or chloroethane, haloalkane or alkyl halide. Formation of chloroethane, haloalkane. So, with halogen acids also, chloroalkanes are formed. Chloroethane. Okay. Now, you should remember this is a very important point. A mixture of zinc chloride and concentrated HCl. A mixture of zinc chloride and concentrated HCl is known as Lucas reagent. A mixture of zinc chloride, ZnCl2, and concentrated HCl is known as Lucas reagent. And Lucas reagent is used to distinguish between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. Primary alcohol. Secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohol ko identify karne ke liye, distinguish karne ke liye. Lucas reagent can be used 
तो लुकास एजेंट क्या है मिक्सचर ऑफ जिंक क्लोराइड एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एच सी एल इज नोन एज लुकास एजेंट एंड इट इज यूज टू डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शियरी एल्कोहल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू सी तो लुकास एजेंट वॉट इज लुकास एजेंट ए मिक्सचर ऑफ जिंक क्लोराइड एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एच सी एल जिंक क्लोराइड एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एच सी एल is known as lucas reagent and lucas reagent is used to distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary alcohol distinguish karne ke liye for distinguishing primary secondary and tertiary alcohol lucas reagent is used नंबर वन तो हेल ए प्राइमरी एल्कोहल इज ट्रीटेड उथ लुकास रिएजन देन अपन हिटिंग इट गिवस टर्बिडिटी से देर आर थ्री टेस्ट ट्यूब्स इन दिस थ्री टेस्ट ट्यूब्स One test tube contains primary alcohol. One test tube contains secondary alcohol. One test tube contains tertiary alcohol. So alcohols are colorless. So these three test tube contains primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Now we don't know in which test tube primary and secondary and tertiary alcohols are present. Now how can you distinguish which one is primary, which one is secondary, and which one is tertiary alcohol? So organic chemistry me. डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्शियर को तो ऐसे ऐसे करके प्रॉपर्टीज देखे डिस्टिंग्विश नहीं करते तो ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री में डिस्टिंग्विश करते हैं बाई गिविंग टेस्ट तो तुम लुकास टेस्ट यूज कर सकते हो तो बाई यूजिंग लुकास रिएजेंट टेस्ट यू कैन डिस्टिंग्विश प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शियर को वॉट इज लुकास रिएजेंट ए मिक्सचर ए मिक्सचर ऑफ जिंक क्लोराइड एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एशिया इस कॉल लुकास रिएजेंट तो अभी तुमने पहले लुकास रिएजेंट प्रिपेयर किया अभी तीन टेस्ट ट्यूब में एक में प्राइमरी एक में सेकेंडरी एक में टर्शियरी एल्कोहल रखा हुआ है तीनों टेस्ट ट्यूब में तुम दो दो ड्रॉप लुकास रिएजेंट दे दोगे नाउ यू कैन सी दैट विद इन वन मिनट लुकास रिएजेंट देने के बाद विद इन वन मिनट एक टेस्ट ट्यूब में प्रेसिपिटेड आ जाएगा तो जिसमें प्रेसिपिटेड आ गया दैट इज टर्शियरी एल्कोहल With Lucas reagent, tertiary alcohol gives turbidity within one minute. Wait, करो गे, wait करो गे. Within five minutes, or a test tube में precipitate आ जाएगा. तो जिसमें within five minutes आ गया, that is secondary alcohol. और एक test tube में नहीं आएगा precipitate. But उसी test tube को heat करने से उसमें भी precipitate आ जाएगा. तो जिसको जिसमें heat करने के बाद precipitate आया, that is primary alcohol. so with lucas reagent primary alcohol gives turbidity upon heating With Lucas reagent, primary alcohol gives turbidity upon heating. So primary alcohol CH3, CH2, OH, OH alcohol group. The alcohol group is attached to this carbon, and this carbon directly attached to it. Only one carbon atom. That's why this carbon is primary carbon, and this compound is primary alcohol. So this is ethanol. So ethanol is primary alcohol. So primary alcohol. HCl, ZnCl2. So primary alcohol reacts with a mixture of zinc, ZnCl2, zinc chloride, and concentrated HCl. Upon heating, heat करने से H2 अलग हो जाएगा. You will get CH3, CH2Cl plus H2. So ethyl chloride, इसका precipitate आ जाएगा. 
ठीक है तो हेलो एल्किन तो फॉर्मेशन हुआ तो दिस इज प्राइमरी अल्कोहल तो प्राइमरी अल्कोहल विद लुकास रिएजेंट गिव्स टर्मिडिटी प्रेसिपिटेट ऑन हीटिंग अपॉन हीटिंग नंबर 2 विथ लुकास रिएजेंट सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल गिव्स टर्बिडिटी विद इन फाइव मिनिट तो सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल गिव्स टर्बिडिटी विद इन फाइव मिनिट ऑन ट्रीटमेंट विथ लुकास रिएजेंट तो सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल सी एच थ्री सी एच सीएच थ्री ओ एच ओ एच एल्कोहल ग्रुप एटास टू दिस कार्बन दिस कार्बन इज डायरेक्टली एटास टू वन टू कार्बन दिस कार्बन इज सेकेंडरी कार्बन दिस कंपाउंड इज सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज आइसोप्रोपाइल एल्कोहल और प्रोपान टू ऑफ वन टू थ्री लॉन्गेस्ट कार्बन चेन सेकेंड कार्बन कंटेन्स एल्कोहल तो प्रोपान टू ऑफ तो आइसोप्रोपाइल एल्कोहल इज द कॉमन नेम रिएक्ट्स विद ए मिक्सचर ऑफ जिंक क्लोराइड एंड कंसेंट्रेटेड एसीएल तो लेस देन फाइव मिनट तो विद इन फाइव मिनट एस टू बार ऑन इज सी एस थ्री CH, CH3, 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 HOH, बाहर निकल गया, CR, plus H2, तो precipitate of two chloropropene का precipitate आ जाएगा, तो this is another hammer, number three, with Lucas reagent, टर्शियरी अल्कोहल गिव्स टर्बिडिटी विद इन वन मिनट तो विद इन वन मिनट टर्शियरी अल्कोहल गिव्स टर्बिडिटी ऑन ट्रीटमेंट विथ लुकास रियरी एग्जांपल सीएच थ्री C, CH3, CH3, OH. So alcohol, OH, attached with this carbon, and this carbon is directly attached with three carbon. So this carbon is tertiary carbon, and this compound is tertiary alcohol. So propan two or it was secondary alcohol, and this is two methyl propan. टू ऑल टू मिथाइल प्रोपान टू ऑल नाउ दिस रिएक्ट्स विथ ए मिक्सचर ऑफ जिंक क्लोराइड एंड कंसेंट्रेटेड एसीएल तो लेस देन 1 मिनट इट गिव्स प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ CH3 CCH3 CH3 CR तो H2 बाहर निकला ियलोहल PCl5. We can prepare chloroalkyl by using SOCl to thionyl chloride. Chloroalkynes are formed, and also by using halogen acid like hydrochloric acid, chloroalkynes can be prepared. Now, how can you prepare bromoalkyl from alcohol? Number B.
ब्रोमोएल्केन्स तो ब्रोमोएल्केन्स कैन बी प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रॉम अल्कोहल व्हेन अल्कोहल इज ट्रीटेड विथ ए मिक्सचर ऑफ केबियर एंड कंसंट्रेटेड H2SO4 तो व्हेन अल्कोहल इज ट्रीटेड विथ ए मिक्सचर ऑफ के बियर पोटेशियम ब्रोमाइड एंड कंसंट्रेटेड H2SO4 देन ब्रोमो एल्किन्स आर फॉर्मड सो इन दिस रिएक्शन एट फर्स्ट केबियर एंड H2SO4 रिएक्ट्स एंड प्रोड्यूस HBr हाइड्रोजन ब्रोमाइड और हाइड्रोब्रोमिक एसिड तो HBr प्रोड्यूस्ड इन रिएक्शन मिक्सचर एंड आल्सो प्रोवाइड्स एसिड कैटालिस्ट तो सी तो एट फर्स्ट केबियर एंड H2SO4 कंसंट्रेटेड H2SO4 दिस इज कंसंट्रेटेड दिस टू रिएक्ट्स एंड फॉर्म्स H2SO4 H HSO4 तो KH SO4 H पॉजिटिव HSO4 नेगेटिव तो KH SO4 और यहां से एक H एंड एक Br HBr यह HBr इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द रिएक्शन मिक्सचर दिस HBr सो दिस इज एसिड कैटालिस्ट दिस प्रोवाइड्स द एसिड कैटालिस्ट तो हाइड्रोब्रोमिक एसिड रिएक्ट्स विद अल्कोहल से C2H5OH इथानॉल तो व्हेन एनी अल्कोहल इज ट्रीटेड विद अ मिक्सचर ऑफ केबियर एंड H2SO4 देन ब्रोमो एल्किन्स आर फॉर्म so in this reaction kbr and h2so4 first react and produces hbr this hbr provides the acid catalyst in the reaction to so h oh bar nikla c2 h5 br plus h2 now this is bromoethane so bromoalkene is formed to so bromoalkenes can be prepared by treating alcohol with a mixture of kbr and concentrated h2so4 so at first kbr and concentrated h2so4 reacts and produce hbr in the reaction mixture this hbr provides the acid catalyst with alcohol and gives bromoethane bromoethane here because ethanol is used clear number c how can you prepare iodo alkene iodo alkene from alcohol so when alcohol is reflux with constant boiling hydrogen iodide then iodo alkenes are formed when alcohol any alcohol say ch3 CH2 OH ethanol so when alcohol is refluxed with constant boiling hydrogen iodide reflux on refluxing method and this hydrogen iodide is 57% pure so when ethanol or any alcohol is refluxed with constant boiling constantly boil karna padta hai constant boiling hydrogen iodide then h2o removes and gives ch3 ch2 i plus h2 to so when ethanol is refluxed with constant boiling hydrogen iodide then iodoalkenes so here it is iodoethane iodoalkenes are formed so clear so from alcohol we can prepare chloroalkane bromoalkane as well as iodoalkenes next number 4 by iodide exchange method so by iodide exchange so alkyl chlorides and alkyl bromides when treated with potassium iodide alkyl chloride or hello alkene that is chloroalkene alkyl chloride mean chloroalkene 
alkyl bromides means bromo alkanes so when chloro alkanes and bromo alkanes are treated with potassium iodide ki then iodo alkanes are formed so alkyl chlorides and alkyl bromides when treated with potassium iodide then iodo alkanes are formed this reaction is known as iodide exchange method and it has a specific name it is finkelstein reaction this reaction is called finkelstein reaction so by finkelstein reaction alkyl chloride and alkyl bromide can be converted to alkyl iodide on treatment with potassium iodide for example say ch3 ch2 chlorine or bromine this is alkyl bromide if you write cl alkyl chloride so alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide on treatment with potassium iodide ki so what will happen kbr bahar nikalna se ch3 ch2 i plus kbr or ch3 cl alkyl chloride reacts with ki तो KCl वहां निकल गया दिस इज सी एच थ्री आई प्लस के सी एल तो एल्काइल क्लोराइड और एल्काइल ब्रोमाइड ऑन ट्रीटमेंट विथ पोटासियम आयोडाइड गिव्स एल्काइल आयोडाइड दिस रिएक्शन इज कॉल्ड फिंकलस्टेन रिएक्शन दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज आयोडाइड एक्सचेंज मेथड तो क्लोराइड और ब्रोमाइड आर एक्सचेंज बाय आयोडाइड आयोडाइड एक्सचेंज मैथड last another method number 5 from silver salt of from silver salt of acid to so when silver salt of any acid silver salt of any acid is treated with bromine then bromo alkanes are formed this reaction is called hans dicker reaction h u n s d i e c k e r hans dicker reaction so when silver salt of any acid is treated with bromine then bromo alkanes are formed This reaction is called Hans Dicker reaction. For example, the so silver salt of any acid, so CH three C double O H one is a CH three C double O H. It has no H acid. Now this hydrogen is replaced by A G. So silver salt of acid. If there is hydrogen in place of A G, so CH three C double O H. It has no H acid. Now hydrogen is replaced by A G silver. so this is silver salt of acid and the name of this acid is silver ethanoic ethanoic acid sir silver ethanoic or silver acetate acetic acid cis3 double h so silver salt of any acid when treated with bromine product kya hoga ch3 Br plus carbon dioxide plus Ag Br. So this is bromo methane. So bromo alkene is formed. Bromo methane here. The mechanism of this reaction. See CH3 C. Double bond O O A G. C double O A G plus bromine B R single bond B R. Eight.
AGB up. Then so you have bond here, sir, you have barrier. C double bond O, double bond O, CO2. Your product CH3 single bond. Okay, I guess it bromine. So C is three prima. Br. C is three Br. Bromomethane. Plus C double bond O. Ye bond ya si abhi aane se double bond O. That is carbon dioxide. CO2. Ye gas. Chala jayega. Plus Ag single bond Br. Ag Br. So this is your product. So silver sort of any assay must contain two carbon atom. Only H C double H methanoic acid. So H C double O A G. So silver methanoic does not give Hans Dicker reaction. So when silver sort of any acid containing at least two carbon atom reacts with bromine, then bromoalkenes are formed. This reaction is known as Hans Dicker reaction. And Remember, in Hans Dicker reaction, only bromine is used, not fluorine, not chlorine, not iodine. Only bromine is used. Clear? So these are methods of preparation of halo alkenes. So from alkene, you can prepare halo alkene. From alkene, you can prepare halo alkene. From alcohol, by iodide exchange method. From silver salt of any acid, you can prepare hello alkane. Now, we should study the properties of hello alkane. The properties of hello alkanes, so we can study physical property as well as chemical property. So, at first, physical properties. So, first part, number A, physical properties. Physical properties, the first point, solubility. So, hello alkenes ka solubility kya So, hello alkenes or alkyl halides are polar substances. The hello alkenes are polar, but they are insoluble in water. So, hello alkenes are insoluble in water. So, why they are insoluble in water? Hello alkenes are insoluble in water because they do not form hydrogen bond with water molecules. So, if hydrogen bond formation is not that means water is not mix up. That's why hello alkenes are insoluble in water. So, solubility is so, hello alkenes are polar but insoluble in water because they do not form hydrogen bond with water molecules. Second point. Boiling point. So, due to greater polarity as well as high molecular masses as compared to the parent alkane, say CH4, this is methane, but CH3Cl, chloromethane. So, this is hello alkane. And this is the parent alkane. The parent alkane say hello hello alkane. So hello alkanes have greater polarity because these are polar molecules. So due to greater polarity as well as higher molecular mass. So methane say chloromethane ka molecular mass bhi jada hai. Methane ka molecular mass carbon 12, hydrogen 1 into 4. So plus 4, 12 plus 4, 16. Carbon 12 plus hydrogen 3. Plus chlorine 35.5. 15 35, 50.5. So molecular mass 50.5 or methane ka molecular mass only 16. So molecular mass bhi jada hai chloromethane ka. So due to greater polarity as well as higher molecular masses of hello alkenes, 
as compared to their parent hydrocarbon the intermolecular force of attraction in the halo alkanes are higher so the boiling point of halo alkanes are higher as compared to their parent hydrocarbon of the comparable molecular masses so for example methane ch4 CH3F तो मीथेन से मॉलिक्यूलर मास CH3F फ्लोरीन मीथाइल फ्लोराइड इसका ज्यादा है मॉलिक्यूलर मास इंक्रीजेस एज वेल एज बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इंक्रीजेस CH3Cl तो CH3F से CH3Cl का मॉलिक्यूलर मास और ज्यादा है बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इंक्रीजेस CH3Br CH3I तो हेलो एल्केन्स आर पोलर मॉलिक्यूल्स तो ड्यू टू ग्रेटर पोलरिटी एज वेल एज हायर मॉलिक्यूलर मास एज कंपेयर्ड टू देयर पेरेंट हाइड्रोकार्बन द इंटरमॉलिक्यूलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इन द हेलो एल्केन्स आर हायर एंड सो द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ हेलो एल्केन्स आर हायर देन दोस ऑफ द हाइड्रोकार्बन्स ऑफ comparable molecular masses so similarly ch3 cl ch3 ch2 cl molecular mass increases to molecular mass increase hone se boiling point also increases ch3 ch2 hold to cl to be ch3 ch2 ch2 cl ch3 CH2, 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 Cl. So molecular mass increases, their boiling point also increases. Number three, density. Density. So alkyl iodide and alkyl bromides are heavier than water, whereas alkyl chloride. and alkyl fluorides are lighter than water so here we can write alkyl iodide r i have higher density than alkyl bromide r cl r f so alkyl fluorides have lowest density whereas alkyl iodide has higher density these two alkyl iodide and alkyl bromides they are heavier than water whereas alkyl chloride and alkyl fluorides are lighter than water number 4 dipole moment dipole moment of halo alkanes to dipole moment of halo alkanes decreases as the electronegativity of the halogens decreases from chlorine to bromine to iodine to di dipole moment value of halo alkanes decreases as the electronegativity of halogens decreases down the group so see this is very important chloromethene ch3cl it has highest dipole moment and dipole moment value is 1.860 dy dipole moment dy then ch3f this is 1. Eight four seven divide C H three B R one point eight three zero divide. And the lowest is C H three I. This is one point six three six divide. The so fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine. Has the highest electronegativity value. So यहाँ पे exceptional case, chlorine सबसे ज़्यादा है. उसके बाद आता है fluorine. तो chlorine उसके बाद fluorine. 
is chloromethane, is called fluoromethane, then bromomethane, iodoethane, continuously decreases. So normally, what is it? Fluoromethane, chloromethane, bromomethane, iodomethane. But here is exceptional. So arrange the following in the increasing order of dipole moment. Say fluoromethane, iodomethane, chloromethane, bromomethane. It is given. How can you write in the increasing order? That first. CH3I lowest increasing order. This is increasing order. These are decreasing order. So CH3I, CH3PR, and then CH3F and highest CH3CL. Values are given here. So these are some physical properties of halo alkenes. So in the next class, we should study chemical properties of halo alkenes. And chemical properties means chemical reactions. So this is end of today's class. Thank you.